Izyaslav Is of Kiev was the eldest son of Yaroslav the Wise, Grand Prince of Kiev. He was born in 1024 AD and succeeded his father to the throne in 1054 AD. Izyaslav was a skilled warrior and a wise ruler. He expanded the territory of the Kievan Rus and strengthened its defenses against its enemies. One day, Izyaslav was informed that the Polovtsi, a nomadic Turkic people, were raiding villages in southern Ruses. Izyaslav immediately gathered his army and marched against the Polovtsi. The two armies met in battle on the Alta River in 1068 AD. Izyaslav's army was outnumbered, but he fought bravely. However, the Polovtsi were victorious, and Izyaslav was forced to flee. Izyaslav's defeat at the Battle of the Alta River was a major setback for the Kievan Rus. The Polovtsi continued to raid Rus's villages for many years to come. In 1073 AD, Izyaslav was deposed by his brothers Sviatoslav and Vesevolod. Izyaslav fled to Poland, where he sought the help of Bolesław II the Bold. Bolesław II agreed to help Izyaslav regain his throne, and in 1076 AD, the two armies marched on Kiev. Sviatoslav and Vsevolod were defeated at the Battle of Nezhatina Niva, and Izyaslav was restored to the throne of Kiev. However, Izyaslav's reign was short-lived. In 1078 AD, he was killed in battle against his cousins, Oleg Sviatoslavich and Boris Vyacheslavich. Izyaslav's death marked the beginning of a period of civil war in the Kievan Rus. His brothers, Sviatoslav and Vesevolod, fought over the throne, and the Polovtsi took advantage of the chaos to raid Rus villages with impunity. Despite his short and tragic reign, Izyaslav Afur is remembered as a great warrior and a wise ruler. He expanded the territory of the Kievan Rus and strengthened its defenses against its enemies. He is also remembered as the first king of Rus after the Pope sent him a crown in 1075 AD. Here is a short story about Izyaslav I, the last battle of Izyaslav. I, Izyaslav Y, Grand Prince of Kiev, stood on the battlefield surveying his troops. He knew that he was outnumbered, but he also knew that he had to fight. The Polovtsi, a nomadic Turkic people, were threatening his kingdom, and Izyaslav was determined to defend it. Izyaslav raised his sword and shouted, For Rus! His army cheered and charged into battle. The battle was fierce and bloody. Izyaslav's army fought bravely, but the Polovtsi were too numerous. Izyaslav was wounded in the battle, but he refused to give up. He continued to fight until the very end. Finally, Izyaslav was surrounded by Polovtsi warriors. He knew that he was defeated, but he still fought to the death. He killed several Polovtsi warriors before he was finally slain. Izyaslav I died a hero. He fought bravely to defend his kingdom against its enemies. He is remembered as one of the greatest rulers of the Kievan Rus'.